Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about polymorphism and then we will conclude our series on C++. Okay? Polymorphism is one of the important features of object oriented programming. Polymorphism means having many forms and it is a way of displaying a message or same message in more than one form. Okay? Now, we have learnt about function overloading. Right? Function overloading can be considered as an example of polymorphism feature in C++. Alright? Yes. So now, let me write a program and explain you about it. Okay? So here, I will say class and I will say poly because we are learning about polymorphism. And here, let me say void and let me give the name as func and it will take an integer parameter. Okay? A. And here, let me say C out and I will say value of A is and then a and del and let me end it here so it only has one line next let me create one more function or method whatever you want to call it and let me name it same f u n c okay and this will take a double value and it will say or let me copy this okay so it will say the exact same exact thing so here once again let me say f u n c and it will take int a and int b all right and this will say uh, value of a and b is and it will give out and this comma and b okay yeah and then all right yes so this will display value of a and b is a comma b okay so let me end the class here now let me go to main function and create object from this class okay so how to create an object First comes the name of the class and then uh, let me name it as obj1 itself, okay, object1. Now, if I want to get this or if I want to use this, alright, if I want to use this, all I have to do is send an integer value, okay. So, this is the name of the method. If I send an integer value, this will be displayed. All right. So, or uh, let me use this. All right. Yeah. So here I will say obj one dot f u n c, and if I send seven, if I send the seven, you can see. All right. So I have. Yeah, one more thing about this, okay? See, I have not written public anywhere. If you do not mention anything, if you do not mention anything, by default, the class will be private. Okay, I had not mentioned this before. Here, I did not mention that this was public. So, if you do not mention anything, by default, it will be considered as private and that is why I am giving getting this message. So, I want this to be public. So, I have to explicitly state that this is public. Only when I say this is public, this will be public. If I do not mention anything or if I say private here, then in the both cases, this will be private. Okay. Yeah. So let me run the program and you can see value of integer a is a. So according to the parameter or argument that we send to this, the function will be called. 
so since i have sent an integer value this is the function that will be activated or that will be executed okay now if i send 7.1 instead of 7 you can see i get a different message saying value of double a is 7.1 meaning even though i have called function there are three functions here or methods with three name three same names okay funk 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 all right all three are same now since i have sent 7.1 which is a double value this is the method or function which is which will be executed and that is why i am getting this message as result okay now if i said 7 and 9 7 and 9 then you can see i am getting this message as output here meaning even though the three methods had same name this was executed because i sent two integer values two integer values all right so this is called as polymorphism all right this is called as polymorphism so we had learned this while learning function overloading correct so according to the data or parameter that you send or argument that you send the function will be activated all right yes so that is about polymorphism very simple but powerful concept you will make use of this uh, when you go uh, into your job or uh, in career all right yes so that's it for this video series on c plus plus now there are few things that you need to take before you become well versed in c plus plus that is you need to practice the basics again and again okay basics means you need to type the program and execute it it is not enough if you just watch them and think to yourself that you have understood them only when you type the program run them and only when you get errors and correct those errors you will really understand the program okay next what you have to do is you have to watch c plus plus videos by other creators there are many videos on youtube on c plus plus made by other creators you need to watch them this is because their way of teaching will be different than mine and they would also have taught you different topics than what i have taught in this video so it is really necessary to watch videos of other creators too okay and then you need to do some small projects on c plus plus that is when you will be applying all the concepts that you have learnt in this video to make some useful project okay so only by doing these three you will really get well in c plus plus okay so by saying that i will end my video series here i'll see you in a different series till then take care and thank you for watching